Hello and welcome to season six of All Stars Online. I'm your host, Sierra, and this week we have the 2022 World Coffee and Good Spirits finalist representing Ukraine, Vladislav Demonenko. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you again. I hope this will be a pleasure for me to, to see you here and uh, share my experience. Excellent. Before we get started, Vlad, I would like to first recognize our sponsors. All Stars Online is supported by season sponsor Barista Attitude. Barista Attitude is the 2022 to 2025 World Barista Championship Qualified Espresso Machine sponsor and proud to support competitors around the world with Tempesta Coffee Machines. Learn more at barista-attitude.com. This episode is also supported by Scotsman Ice. I hope you all enjoyed the recently finished World Coffee Competitions Melbourne event. In this episode, we are going to be chatting with Vlad about his coffee career and competitions, and we will also get to see his signature beverage video as well, so stay tuned for that. So let's get started. Vlad, I want to first ask you where you are at the moment and where are you working? Yeah, so uh, I'm in Berlin, in Germany. So it's nice, uh, beautiful weather today, like autumn, golden autumn season. Yeah, basically I work as a freelancer and don't work in any company yet. So probably I hope find some personal match to me. To me. Yeah, and uh, I just work now with uh, one interesting coffee project. It's like coffee cocktail ski to what you can make at home, like like special high quality coffee cocktail as in, in competition, but much more easy way. Yeah, this while is like most of my part of life now. So Vlad, can you tell us about how you first got into coffee? Yeah, I really clearly remember it. So it was my second course of education in medicine. I just think, okay, I need some job for myself to get some money for life. And I start working in some, con it's like confectionery, like pastries and coffee or something like a cafe. Uh, and they already like serve a uh, specialty coffee and one of the baristas is like i don't know he's motivated me to to drink like normal coffee and uh more like educate me like day by day and uh, taught me about the uh, competition and like wow it's it's more than drink and uh, i'm interested in this profession like at all because like it's about taste and how you're feeling it and i don't know i was really excited to to know more about this thing yeah and uh like i just worked there in like two or three months and uh, i really like feel okay i want to be like a barista real barista and uh, start looking for a local roastery in a, in my own city and i find uh, it's called fund coffee uh, it's based in dnipro and still working so it was really nice first up and it's still like work there remotely so it's it's amazing experience. So we just like, you know, like special to taste some different regions, different coffees, like really motivated me to, to start work there. Amazing. So did you get a chance, Vlad, to watch any of the WCC Melbourne event at all this year? That just happened two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. This was an amazing event. Also, I have like uh, the online commentator for semifinals of WBC. Yeah, I really enjoyed the performance of all guys and see a lot of new things. What really inspired me to compete next year, maybe. Amazing. So what were some of the standout routines for you this year that you managed to watch or commentate on? Uh, I like, I think, uh, the most of, like, best competitor for me as a winner uh, is, like, an Australian guy. Really enjoyed the performance, how he professionally present new tools and how he work with the flow it's so nice for me yeah. also i have uh, watched a brewer's cup most of the time i'm focused on the brewer's cup basically because uh, my friend uh, competitor is nicole yeah so really excited to be like because it's like a lot of famous barista competes there in the same year and so like wow it will be pretty interesting to, to watch yeah brewer's cup is definitely up and coming as uh, one of the competitions to watch um, and you yourself are a competitor in fact you are the first runner-up for the world coffee and good spirits championship this year earlier in milan so how long have you been competing yourself so i compete 
no, start to compete really early, uh, like maybe after half of year or three months, three and a half months uh, after I start working in coffee. Uh, it was my second coffee in good spirits championship, like in the world stage. Before this, I competed in Berlin, 2019, and I got seventh place. Yeah, so yeah, I like more of them, like a coffee in good spirits. Also, compete in the cup tasting and the barista competition in Ukraine, and uh, I think it's my second favorite thing. Is like the barista league is like fun competition, super nice, and uh, it's always like fun. Yeah. So yeah, in general, I compete like around five years. That's super cool. And what you said about fun, was that kind of what drew you to Coffee and Good Spirits over like the other competitions? Not that they're not fun, but there's definitely a more visual element to sing. Yeah, yeah. So for me, like personally, Coffee and Good Spirits, like, you know, you don't have any borders at all. You just crush them and uh, you can show people more than coffee and your creativity side and also bring something new in industry also it super helps to you to understand the coffee deeper like not like a basic product like a coffee in general but mixing and mixology and how you can work with the taste and this tiny thing so it's it's for me like more like deep ocean you know <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Would you be open to competing in any of the other competitions? I know you've done cup tasters, as you've just said, but the ones that you watched and commentated, you know, would you be tempted to do Brewers Cup, for example? Or uh, I, I think now about the barista competition. Yeah, next year yeah. definitely. I will. I won't try. Yeah, one more time. I want to try to compete in Coffee and Good Spirits and try to do all my best what I can. I just need to find some space for this and uh, wait a little bit for to compete officially from Ukraine. No, absolutely. What are some of the challenges that people may or may not expect about competing? Oh, you know, the competition is not always like fun and uh, you had like a lot of coffee at all like day by day you drink a lot of coffee and can be like super caffeine it also and coffee and good spirits plus alcohol so you be really drunk <laughs> every day <laughs> and yeah, but how does that, i've always wondered how that works because i obviously have friends who also compete in that competition some of them don't even really drink that much in general and then yes. they told me i'm gonna take part in six and i'm like how does that work like how do you <laughs> not get completely wasted yeah, it's really, I don't know, it's miracle of things, but uh, I remember like when I tried like making my practice time and then like 12 o'clock in the midday, like I'm really drunk, you know, I, I can do anything <laughs> and like, okay, need rest, some uh, fed food, beer, and we can continue practice. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely like in a coffee and spirit is the most dangerous part when it can be drunk. So yeah, it's also help you to don't forget your text, you know, for a presentation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's pushed your creativity side, you know, zero five from you in, in a blood make a uh, curious thing. <laughs> and do you think your life has changed a lot since the, you know, since the competition in Milan earlier this year? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. So uh, like uh, when I was just come to the finals and don't, no, like my place is always like okay i already win myself like before you know i become better and i feel this like you know after like after gym you know i feel like i'm stronger i'm smarter now and uh, i have new skills and uh, i am just be happy with this one but when i just saw like okay i have second place in the world wow it's like fantastic results for me and yeah after this it's helped me to to support my country actually because i make like this charity pop-up events around the world and it's really helped me to like uh, introduce myself hello i'm lot i have like compete here and a lot of people saw my presentation uh, and also they want to get this experience and share this experience with the customer in the cafe yeah so definitely it's it's helped me yeah Tell me a little bit more about that. I'm aware of your fundraising efforts to, you know, raise funds for Ukraine, yeah. but also in the light of the challenges that we spoke about with competing, you've definitely faced a lot of that this year, especially with 
um, what's been happening in Ukraine since March this year. So yeah. how has that kind of influenced the way you've approached competing this year? And obviously, obviously everything about your life changed and then it changed yeah. even more. Yeah, so like uh, when the war, war was starting, like I was definitely not be ready for this at all. <laughs> you know, I just live my regular life and like, bam. Yeah, and the few months, I guess, I don't know, I, I just tried to organize myself, my life, my routine and uh, find some way to, to not be lost uh, in this situation. And uh, when I have changed to go across the border and uh, like do it officially, of course, and uh, find a place in my friends in, in Berlin, I take some time to rest and think what I want to do and just think like, okay, yeah, I really want to compete because uh, it's like my old, old routine, you know, I, I really like compete by compete and the competition by competition and do my work. And uh, it's, it's like, really part become part of my life really like big part of my life and this really just helped me live my old life before you know to compete in a in a competition like in a coffee world yeah and uh, i'm lucky to to find the uh, roistet ivo nivona and uh, nicole who really support me at all all of things you know all questions she, she helped me to to close yeah, and uh, super motivated me to to do this. Yeah, and yeah, it was like you know, like, like last dance in Chicago Bulls. It's the same things uh, about me, you know, because I I don't know like when I can compete in Ukraine. It's probably big questions and uh, how I can compete uh, from another country. I also don't know now. Yeah, so so it's like hard time. It's still like hard, and uh, a lot of things happen now in Ukraine. It's really awful and dangerous and uh, for economic situation for like coffee world general in ukraine like a lot of frustrated try to to work to produce the coffee and uh, support you know but it's definitely hard you know yeah so it is this events of uh, fundraising and just you know it's a good thing when you like i give chance to people who come like get uh, nice coffee cocktails like in introduced to another coffee world and also they when they buy a ticket or a cocktail they help people so it's like two in one you know yeah and uh, yeah so most of them is go to like buy some food or uh, clothing for for Ukrainian guys yeah so easy like that's this amazing like that's such a inspiring and direct way to be able to help you know yeah your, your yeah homeland. I just think it's uh, really the best what I can do now is just help like this, you know, because uh, I can be like a professional soldier or something. I like, think like I'm die like in the first day or second because like it's no sense for anyone. But uh, this way is really help to when other people like just just help them, you know, just to to be to not to be like directly in this situation, but be like outside, but help like this, you know. Absolutely. And I think I don't just speak for myself when I say that you are an inspiration to many. So my next question is, why would you encourage someone to compete at all? Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely like challenge, you know, challenge for you. So, yeah. So for my experience side is I'm becomes better from competition by competition because I am just like have more and more questions that they can answer only me like you know and uh, when i compete like in a in ukraine with uh, like local competitors on a, in a world stage i just compete not for with them no just like it's like they're not a like, concurrent at all it's like just uh friends also cool champs around me you know i compete with myself to try to do better and best you know because yeah you should be better than you not their other, you know? Yeah. So definitely if you want to get like nice experience, you should try this and uh, feel this atmosphere vibe and yeah. That's amazing. And I actually got to watch 
you on the final stage live in Milan earlier this year. That was a that was a crowd. People were just waving flags and yelling your name. How did it feel for you standing there on that final stage, both through the your finals performance as well yeah. as the awards ceremony? Like, talk us through what was going on in your head at that moment. Oh yeah, it was really hard. I just I, I don't sleep at all from semifinals to final this night. Like just close my eyes and not sleep and just think about the performance about my text about my routine how i can move and uh, all these things and uh, when i come for a training in the morning like i feel like deja vu you know i feel like okay i'm really be here uh, today and I, i know what i should do and this was really like interesting feeling inside that i am like be there like yesterday but today is like today is not like like wow it super confused me and uh, when it I, it's really helped me to be relaxed on stage and feel myself comfortable at all i'm not nervous at all like because in semi-final i was super <laughs> you know like uh, <laughs> yeah and uh, when i finished like uh, my routine uh, without uh, overtime so it's like yeah okay i saved all points i do all great and I really know that drink tastes amazing because it's it, i think for my opinion it is best drink what i do in my like you know experience at life you know and uh yeah and just think like okay i do all best i'm happy with this yeah it's it's okay it's like five points for myself you know and the other thing is doesn't matter because i'm ready in final and like all good but when it was like okay me or aga and like we like like wow like definitely <laughs> it's like pff, super nervous and uh yeah my i don't know and my heart was like <laughs> yeah it was super stressful but also like you feel it's so light and just you can like you know fly <laughs> after this because you you finish you're done you just need to enjoy this moment enjoy your life you know amazing thing yeah That it's like a, yeah, a rock star you know <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing and speaking of floating i'm sure i'm going to be asking that questions for uh, that question for everyone watching this but that was kind of part of your concept in your actual drink when you were on yeah. stage that it, it was it the vom if i'm not wrong like yeah. the, the concept yeah. can you talk us through that a little bit yeah so vom bomb is like a modernist cuisine technique what can bring liquid in a non gravity edible cloud so we can put any flavors like at all any flavors in this cloud and it can fly because i use the helium like it's super light and also like special powder for toxicizes the uh, liquid to get like special like cloud you know story uh yeah and uh, you can do it like with the coffee with the alcohol with the can know you can make like a burger taste in this cloud you know <laughs> and depends how much uh, what depends on the ratio between the powder and the liquid you can make it like rainy cloud or normal cloud you know you can so my idea was like is cloud is go uh, like up there and fly a cereal cloud and after this i put it over top of cocktail special like things and uh, it's few minutes it start dropping and when it's dropping like drop by drop like a real rain and uh, the taste of cocktail also change so it's super amazing flavor uh, experience you know like uh, also the first idea was be like infuse the essential oils to, to this cloud because it's more stronger and more brighter but i think okay it's like a gin sponsored uh, cocktail i should use gin and this is why I make gin cloud cocktail yeah that i mean i the one thing i was thinking as i was watching you perform i was like that must have been a nightmare to rehearse like that was just acrobatics and i was like holy <laughs> crap that that looks insane and amazing so really really yeah. well done on that um Thank you. right we're going to we're going to move very quickly into the picture segment yeah. of this online video so we have a photo of you here and can you tell us a little bit about this photo like where are you and what are you doing what's the context 
Yeah, so this is uh, my place of power, you know, when I get, mm, I don't know, like, when it inspired me to, to make this actually, like, to compete in the, this coffee with spirits. And uh, also, it's located in Portugal, is uh, Palo de Roca, it's like end of Europe, like, it's like, Atlas, I think it's an ocean there. So a super cool place with an amazing sunset ever I've seen. And uh, this place when I can like meditate and I get all power from sun, ocean, like a nice breeze. And yeah, so it's, it's my place for inspiration, I'd say. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. So now we are going to take a quick look at Vlad's signature beverage video. Check this out and we will be right back with a few more questions. Hello everyone who loves the coffee cocktails. My name is Vlad Ilenko and I am the champion of the World Coffee and Good Spirits 2022. <laughs> and today I will show you my idea of signature beverage. So, the first thing is to be double shot of espresso. I use 20 grams of water and get 40 grams out in 20 minutes seconds. Gin from roasted pineapples. This amazing tropical flavor of gin. I use 20 ml. Twenty mils of cold brew eggs, this rum based cold brew liquor with spicy notes of a similar vanilla and rich flavor of uh, spicy rum. Twenty mils. Five mils of mix of acid. I use malic and tartaric acid in equal proportion, one to one, and use five mils to get the complexity of taste in my coffee and emphasize the taste of blood orange and the purple plum. And 10 ml of cherry blossom cordial, what I make from cherry blossom, sugar and citric acid in equal proportion. Use 10 ml. And now I will add ice to the liquid. So this drink will be cold refreshing and super tropical. I call it this in summer rainy day in Dupro. Dupro is my hometown city and to memory of this beautiful city I pay it. So and to get a more bright and different texture I use a nitro siphon. Gravity and the cloud, what I make from the gin. To this mixture, I will add 20 ml of gin, 3 grams of lecithin, and this area to make it light and make it light. So, this drink can be easy prepared in coffee shop or uh, in your mixer or bar. What do you need? Just gin, cold brew coffee, or some uh, coffee liquor. Acid mix to increase the complexity and the cherry blossom cordial or cherry cordial to increase the fruity profile of your coffee. Today I use Colombian coffee from the region of Huila, it's a Finca Monteverde, cedar variety. It's natural carbon concentration, so this coffee is huge potential of fermented fruits, taste like pineapple, spices, a little bit of purple plum, and the blood orange, of course. Yeah. 
I use special spoon to cut it. Cool video, Vlad. Do you want to explain to us uh, the drink that you've just made and what was the inspiration for this recipe and technique? Yeah, okay. As I said before, I use a special technique called VOM. It's like uh, things what I make cloud. Uh, my drink called is Summer Rainy Day in Dnipro. So Dnipro is my hometown. And uh, the story is behind of, you know, it should imagine the best day of your life in the summer day like in your city for me it's like Dnipro for you I don't know it can be any city would you like like for, uh, in a competition it was Milan because it's like most of judges was uh, from Italy and uh, imagine that you work around your favorite city it's hot summer day it's really hot you know and it starts rainy and you think like uh, this refreshing notes this humidity outside like breezing and this like things that you update yourself you know with like you feel like super lighter you you can fly with these emotions and um, a taste of cocktails also supports these feelings because when you drink this it looks like okay it can be like a nitro coffee style cocktail it should be creamy but it's super light and silky and the taste of cocktail is super refreshing with um, hints of tropical notes viney character because i use a cherry cordial for this and uh, some like based of coffee flower taste is gives you like this hints of plums and uh, rum. So it's super complex thing. It's open by sip to sip. Yeah. So a story about my city and how I'm feeling there, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure you want to kind of recreate that feeling for people at home, kind of wanting to make your signature beverage and feel a little bit about how you feel about Nipro. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's super nice part of my life. That's amazing. Thank you for re like for recreating this for us. And is there any last words that you want to say before we uh, say goodbye to everyone? Yeah, I just want to say, don't stop, uh, explore your time and uh, be better than you was yesterday, always. Yeah, also support Ukrainian people. It's super around a lot of barista now in different countries and they're super professional, just uh, trust them and uh, yeah, support them, please. Amazing. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much to Vadislav Demonenko, our 2022 World Coffee and Good Spirits first runner-up. And thank you too to our sponsors. Once again, Barista Attitude is our season sponsor and Scotsman Ice is our product sponsor. So make sure to check out Vlad's signature beverage in this video. Stay tuned and we'll see you for the next video next time. Ciao. Uh -huh.